I have no clue how to start this, but if you want to have full body like me and want to do like this, then follow my steps. What you need to get for full body on a reverb, you ne need, um, of course, the trackers, like one hip tracker, one right tracker, one left tracker. These are three trackers, but you need to connect those trackers with base stations also, like two of them I have right now, Steam base station or Valve. Vive base stations. It does, uh, doesn't matter which, but the, the 2.0s are right now the best ones out there, so you need to get them maybe. It's right now available in Steep, so you just buy them. But the most important part, keep in mind, is a dongle. You need the dongle, not these things, you know, but uh, just a dongle, and uh, it will connect uh, your like uh, a tracker with your PC. And uh, you keep in mind that you need that, otherwise it doesn't work on the reverb. On the index, they have it already installed in the in the uh, in the headset and stuff, so they don't need to worry about that. But you need to, that for like a full body on a reverb. What else you need also is actually one more program to run uh, full body on reverb, and it's called um, Space Calibrator, as you can see here. Uh, I would just link you the, the link so you can go there and don't need to search that up. And you're just gonna install the Axe or the source code, whatever you would like. Just click on that, install that, and um, I just, as you can see on Steam, they are, normally should be there, but uh, when I'm going to my second monitor, uh, as you can see, I just like um, installed Space Calibrator already, and when I open this, it should be up here on the left corner. Otherwise, you need to re um, restart Steam again. And when I'm going to execute this, please, there we go. And as you can see, Space Calibrator is now on. And we have our trackers there already. So I'm going to show you now how to actually do this. So you install now a Space Calibrator. And uh, this is how it should be or normally look like. Um, more likely, a pro tip: just don't, don't uh, just calibrate everybody or every tracker in the first place because you don't know the the right tracker, the left tracker, and the the hip tracker. So just like get right of every every tracker first, and then just start with one and connect them. And just like press on the button uh, on the controller, and uh, as you can see, it is <laughs> down there. So I should actually calibrate that. This is just normal because uh, reverb just is something else and uh, steam index uh, space is also something else. So we're just calibrating it with my right control. This is my right control, the E1. And uh, now I need to find the right tracker. Normally you just start with one so it's easier. So you don't know like these kind of trackers. I would just start with my right hand. You need to have your right hand ready and then place your like tracker on top of your hand now now you don't see it because it's down there but it should be there on on the right hand like this and make it very like tight so it doesn't move the tracker should not move at the same time like i'm just trying to actually do this now and then we can start the tracking and uh it should be on very slow or something because then you can track more uh it will get more points and it the tracking in general is better or slow fast i don't i n never used yet but you can also do that when you just want to have fast tracking but not really good tracking so we just start the calibration and what we're gonna do just move start the calibration start the calibration okay we're gonna move this hand like these things uh, the tracker on your hand the full body tracker should not move and the controller also should not move. I mean, it should move at the same like rate, and it should not wiggle. And otherwise, we just move this and move kind of like these movements. I don't know. You can do whatever you want. I also don't know what what I do here. <laughs> but <laughs> hey, whatever. Uh, at least the, the tracking will be good afterwards. And we just check if everything is good. And it is. It will be ready soon, so we will see how it goes. And afterwards, we um, check if the tracker is good. Like, as you can see, th he's down there. Um, you should also um, not um, 
lose tracking of the controller in general. Otherwise, it, the tracking will also not work. And how's it go? It, it went well. Huh? As you can see, the tracker is now kind of on, on my hand. It's way better now. And that's how you do tracking for everybody. And now you just continue that with the other trackers. So you did everything on Space Calibrator. And uh, you need to just try to do full body now in VR chat or in any other game. You just need to go to like the menu now because there's a new tab. It's called Calibrator Full Body. And uh, just click on it and then you can see that you have like round little balls there. And you need to actually manage this ball to be at the exact place where you are. Like as you can see my left leg there just moved there. You need to have the ball exactly at the le left or right leg, you know, and then just like press um, both controllers in. Like uh, I don't know when you have the on the reverb the normal controller, you need to press the this button and the other button, you know, to make a fist. And on both sides, you need to press that, and then you got to go, and then it looks like that. See. <laughs>